So I, I appreciate, I think that's what made, made hip hop rise to the front of music and represent so many diverse places and people because um, it's willing to change. It's willing to be brand new every day, you know, and, um, and it's willing to be the bad guy sometimes. Hip hop is constantly changing. It's, all, it's constantly changing. I think it's um, always an influx of new ideas. It's where those new ideas are coming from. I don't like a lot of them. Some, some of them I, I really like a lot. Um, fortunately, uh, you know, I found, I found some stuff to keep me linked in, but uh, it ain't just hip hop that uh, is the stimulus, for, stimulus force in my life. You know what I mean? So that all culminates in, what I, in the art that I make because it's been boxed as hip hop. But, you know, it's constantly changing, man. It's constantly it's, it's beautiful. It's a million and one criticisms, you know, about the content that we hear a lot, but as far as what it has done for my life and and, and where I come from, you know what I mean, and, and poverty and working class conditions, I think hip hop has been the hope for livelihood and for being uh, able to express yourself and think you have a, a day beyond today, you know what I mean? I think that's what hip hop is in the world for a, a large part of the community. We need a revolution. We need a revolution. System ain't gonna change. You say it. Say it. We need a revolution. Say it. We need a revolution. System ain't gonna change unless we get what? Black power. I draw strength from, you know, uh, all kind of ways, you know what I mean? Uh, my sister Erica Badu, we vibrate. She, I feed off those kind of energies. Even how they manifest it in their music, how they make it come alive in their life. Because me, it's a struggle to define what's going on in yourself and get an expression that's truly to, truly yourself. Like, you got to be in touch with yourself. So I, I learned from this man. I'm like, wow, he really, he learned how to really get in and know what, you know, what, what he try, how he's trying to express what he's dealing with in life. Like, outlaws, Bun B. Yep. You know, love the gangster. Cause that's when there ain't no answer, ain't nobody listening, ain't no, ain't no solution, ain't no program. It's just the streets and people decide. Today, I'm not having. It. You know, that's what you got. If you ain't got nothing. But bottom line, if, if it's gonna be fucked up, if it's gonna be oppression, then put a dent in it. You know, burn something up. You know what I mean? Like make your mark. Don't just be, don't just be a victim. Not just not just change you can believe in, but change you can it's not gonna change. I think we need a little bit of stimulus right now. What you say, bro? It's something called marketing, you know what I mean? And marketing has goals and it has targets. So when you're dealing with labels and, and companies, you know, they'll say, hmm, I think the skateboarders are the new market. So I don't care what came in the door, we want to sell it to the skateboarders. And um, I think that's what happens to indie artists in terms of content, you know, and creativity. Um, we, most of the time we get put on that circuit, you know what I mean, of uh, um, the college crowd. And then if you're talking about ghetto life or these type of things, you get put in the mainstream. We kind of like came to kind of violate those labels and distinctions. We're going to have substance, we're going to have content, it's gonna, we're going to have intellect. You know, but as it relates to practical things, as it relates to real life, and that don't really fit neatly in nothing, you know, in no box. And, and I think 
that's what Dead Prez, that's why we, we have the, the, the acronym RBG, Revolutionary But Gangster, you know, because we recognize that it's not either or. The world don't operate like that. And it's not student versus the hood. It's not this versus that. It's a combination of things that got to work. So we, we know that. We that enigma. So that's, it was, it was uh, you know, definitely a conditioning that uh, I had to get used to. Uh, even though an internationalist in my mind, Musically, I definitely got an education about how music is distributed around the world, marketed, promoted. Because, for instance, our first album, Let's Get Free, uh, which we made um, with a direct intent that, that if it could be our last will and testament for the world, that that's what it would be. And it was left for African community strength, unity, power, and every kind of uh, thing that we could do to throw off white power. But yet it was absorbed heavily by, you know, students, the student community, you know, white kids around the world. And uh, I, I began to understand it as a, you know, a phenomenon of music that we would, it didn't necessarily have to do it kind of like what me and Stick, while uh, what we were rapping about, then the other part is, is that who that who gets behind what you're talking about. So it, it's, it's interesting how, how it gets to the other places and then how people gravitate toward it. Well, I don't, I don't want to say that or be try to be the post for the group for politics, you know what I mean? Because I might say, I might be doing a song about sex and smoking weed in 10 minutes, you know, because it's life, you know? And so I don't have an allegiance to just be some political thing. It's about expressing yourself. Obama's situation, I think is healthy in, in the sense that it gives us a tangible examples to study and, and discuss as a community about what we think we need and where we think we're going. Um, there's, there ain't no more excuses as far as uh, people voting, who, all the people who believe you can vote your way out of oppression. You know, um, you voted, you got the man in that you voted for, and now he's uh, attempting to implement his agenda. And we'll be able to see um, every day, you know what I mean, how that is really affecting people's life. project that we are concluding with Green Lantern is called Pulse of the People. And that's going to be like a prelude to what's coming with the Information Age album. So look for that in the next 60 days. You know, I'm just kidding. Uh, but really, literally, the next, you know, coming months. April, we own it. Yeah, and then, uh, then at follow, we're going to have Information Age. And, uh, you know, with the, so this year we're going to really try to hit you. And not only that, but all the other ways. Many platforms right here, live, in your face. Come on, come on, African, come on, African-American.